my name is Randall Wrestley. I'm the Vice President of Applications Engineering here at DigiKey. DigiKey strives to find the latest technologies and the latest suppliers for you to make your devices as modern as possible. The way these, uh, e these videos came about was realizing why do customers go to trade shows? And the realization is that for a large purpose, you'd go to a trade show to learn about a device that you didn't otherwise know exist. So that's what we're trying to do is to bring your attention to devices that uh, you may not know about. Now, uh, in, in this case, it's what I didn't know about. And uh, I'm showing a part that they might have existed, but it's new to me. This is a product from uh, Comair Rotron, and they make fans. It turns out this fan is a programmable fan. So what I'm able to do with this is monitor temperature, uh, flow rate, and uh, I'm able to uh, cause this to act in whatever parameters I want so that I only have to stock one fan, and I can create a variety of operating conditions for it. But what you can also do, and it's also got a tachometer feedback, a temperature, things like that. What you can also do with this is to uh, gang them. You can have one of them follow others. So uh, it'd be a great way to reduce processing burden on a processor. So I thought this was slick. I wouldn't have known to look for a programmable fan. The other product I have is a company that we've featured uh, more than once here. And this is a product from Digi. Um, this product allows you to replace wires. And so uh, this is one unit. Uh, it turns out you need more than one to operate because this is going to communicate with a, another one out there. Uh, if you've got more than two units, they will form a mesh network. That's selectable. You don't have to have a mesh network. But the advantage of a mesh network is if you get too far away from any one link, the mesh will make the connection to get back to the host. Now, that might not be so necessary with these because these transmit one watt, 900 megahertz ISM band. And um, the way they get by with such high power is they don't spend very long a time at any one frequency. So by averaging the time on by frequency hopping, they're able to uh, output a, a tremendously high RF uh, energy. So what's really slick about this is uh, that mesh network the fact is, the specs, now these are test environments, but indoor, they specify a range of 11 miles. Outdoor, line of sight, that's like top of mountain to top of mountain, uh, that'd be 65 miles. So uh, envisioning a mesh network that was multiples of those distances, that's a huge network. So uh, you know, analog in, analog out, RS-232 and RS-232 out. So you plug an analog signal into one of these units, and at the far 65 miles away, that analog signal shows up on another. So that is a slick way of uh, replacing wires. These are used by companies in uh, digital signage. So if I've got a retail store and I want to change something from my cash register, I don't have to have a a cable link up to my sign, I can just send the message on up and put on what's special right now. So this has been a, uh, this is a neat product. Thank you for watching.